So you're welcome back. And uh, really, we must thank uh, Dolly for giving Extremely. us such an insight mm. into the definition of love. love. So now I know when to say I love you and when to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> no, she, <laughs> you can say I love you from morning till night. You it can't can say be from morning till night. Yes. Well, um, we've taken a lot away from that, you know, and um, for a topic that has been taken for granted because it happens around us all mm. of the time, mm. you know, I think uh, Dolly was able to bring out some very right point. salient, yes. salient points. So thank you so much, Dolly. And again, I wish that... Uh, we will have uh, some more time with her. And I forgot to tell her I love her. <laughs> okay. So, Dolly, we'll you're watching. That, we'll send I love that, you. We'll send that to her. <laughs> so, with us in the studio now on Today with John and Helen, we have our second guest. Yeah. And, of course, um, the direction is going to be slightly modified mm -hmm. because now we want to learn a little bit more about Gender roles. Mm. Or is it gender rules? Gender rules and <laughs> gender the rules. Gender rules, yes. Um, I want to welcome Omoze Lekia Papa, who is a counselor. Hi. Welcome to the program. Thank you very uh, much. Today you've got a huge task ahead of you. Wow. You know, trying to explain the relevance of gender roles to us. And I dare say that not everyone listening will agree with some of your thoughts. True. You know. But. Um, We'll all be hopeful and feel like uh, we've now got a different perspective to work, you know, to work with. So once again, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Lovely being here as well. Um, gender roles right from birth. Yes. Um, gender roles right from birth. It, it's like when you're born a boy or a girl, you're given certain roles from birth. Mm -hmm. More so in our environment, our African environment, environment yes. where a boy must not step into the kitchen. A boy has to dress in a particular fashion, okay. right? A boy must have a code of communication Conduct, yes. and all of that. And uh, I don't know, why are these rules handing out okay. almost... You know. Well, first of all, the question is, what are gender roles? Yes. Okay, so basically, gender roles are the way you're expected to speak, mm. act, dress, yes. behave. Your whole, your entire life is supposedly based on your gender. Okay. And so that is what is expected of you. And the truth is, like you said, from birth, Gender roles are innate in us. They're, they're what we are born with. That is why you see, um, if you ask mothers, hmm. the way a baby girl behaves when she's hungry is different from the way a baby boy cries. Oh, you, really? Yes, yes, it's very different. Yes. Um, already, um, the child starts playing with toys. The boy naturally gravitates towards things that make him feel manly. Hmm. He wants the cars, he wants the guns, he wants the robots. And what does the girl want? She wants the doll. Mm. She wants the kitchen set. So she naturally gravitates towards that inert, that inert role of the carer. Mm. You know, they say woman, womb man, the man with the womb. So she naturally gravitates towards the, that motherly, caring, life-giving, supportive role naturally. It's not something you teach a child. Mm. You know, so yes, that's... Basically, so what they're gender actually roles acquired are acquired from, uh, yeah, from from, from, from creation itself. Yes, <laughs> you know, if you go back to history, I mean, for those of us who who, who who like to watch and research into old age ways of doing things, it, it's always been like that. That the men have a particular, should I use the word stereotype mm. gender, yes. and the women have a particular stereo, stereotype gender um, role to, roles to play, but. Of course, now with modernization, the advent of technology. That's where, that's where we're just leading to. Yes. That um, when you take into consideration the circumstances in which we find ourselves, yeah. that a lot of things are happening yes. supposedly to change the rules. Yes. You know, would you say that these rules are still maintained? You know, in in a lot of um, family yes. relationships. Okay, I will say yes. Settings. I will say yes. Um, why do I say yes? Let us look at it globally. 
yeah, Africa naturally has, I think, the highest concentration of this definition of the female role versus the male role. Uh, but even the Europeans, even though they are more forward thinking and have come to accept that other roles exist, you find out that the generation of those born in the 40s, 50s, 60s, dare I even say the 70s, still have these main roles in, you know, engraved you know, in, into their being. Okay. Mm. And subconsciously, that is how they raise their families. So with the advent of technology, social media, the internet, these new rules are coming up. This mixing of rules are coming up. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you still find out that majority of people still unconsciously fall into those rules mm. naturally. So for example, you have a lady, a woman who says, oh, I'm a... I know I'm supposed to be a woman, I'm supposed to do this, 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 but hey, I can do this by myself. I don't want anybody to take care of me. I, I, can, I, I mean, I, which, is, which is fair enough. Yes. She goes to school, she has a good education, she can look after herself. But when it comes to certain areas of life, unconsciously, yeah. she still becomes a woman. Yes. Vulnerable. Yes. Un unconsciously, she still becomes mm. a woman. Yeah. You know, and then you have the man, I mean, my son, for example, the way I raise my children, everybody can cook. My mm. son is a fantastic cook. His nickname is Chef Sam. Mm. So because Fridays, he takes care of, of dinner. But it doesn't mean that when he wants to be a man, or the fact that he's cooking doesn't, doesn't change the fact. Feeling, yes, yes, from feeling that, look, I'm the man, I, I need to be in control. Even, even in the cooking, you know, he's mm. asserting his <laughs> natural state. So, so really, how, how do we now... Giving all of these developments, yes, you know, and how the world has transformed, and yeah, well, oh. of course, we expect all of those things to happen, yes, you know. How do we now navigate, you know, how do we navigate through this web of, you know, transformations, transformations and changes without, without losing ourselves? Because it, it will sound to me like this is a part of this is some sort of an undue pressure, or there's some undue pressure, yeah. you know, from relationships, you know, in our society, families, our parents, the couples themselves, themselves yeah. and even, and the even from the children. children. So how do we navigate around all, okay. all of this? Okay, I, I will say from my experience, counseling couples and also my own personal experience, and I also come from a, from a very large family, it, I, it still boils down to the family unit. It still boils down to the family unit, which is why the family unit is, is sacrosanct. Yeah. What values are you putting into your children? So for me, you are a boy, you are a girl, you know what your roles are, but more importantly, you know the value of the role you are playing. You know, when you do not know the value of a thing, then you misuse it. Mm -hmm. So as a parent, my duty is to ensure that my children understand and value why they are boys and mm -hmm. understand and value why they are, why they are girls, girls and understand and value each other's roles. So I, as a boy, do not feel I'm superior to a girl yeah. and I understand the girl's role. So as I grow up with those values, when I become a man, it's already part of me. Mm. So a man who gets married and his wife is tired doesn't see anything wrong in going, in into, going the into the kitchen to prepare a meal. Yes. And then if he loses his job, he doesn't see anything wrong in his wife being the breadwinner for that particular, for that period of time when he's not able to provide because his natural role is to provide. And that's usually but because, huge... Yes, but because there is no understanding of the value of the role, yes. then there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have a situation where... And another thing, again, is a lot of couples... These days, um, unfortunately, their level of patience is wearing thin. Yeah. And again, it's wearing thin because I believe there, is, there isn't a full understanding of what... And then pressures from the... <coughs> yes, the excuse me, but what it entails. Moving on. Um, and then what happens when these rules are totally reversed? What happens? Okay, so when you say a reversal of rules, um, 
for example, you have a couple, or you have a yeah, a couple, yeah, yes, a couple. Mm -hmm. and the woman is the one. Okay, so first of all, maybe let me just backtrack a bit. Okay. One standard rule for the man is he's supposed to provide. Yeah. And one standard rule of the woman is she's supposed to take care of the home, to care, to meet. care, care. Okay. And, yeah. and give support. Mm -hmm. So wow. now, now let's exchange those rules. So the woman is the one now providing and the man is the one now giving care. care. Why should there be a problem if they both understand the value that those rules bring to the table? Because the person who brings the money is not more important than the person who is budgeting managing. it and managing it. And what, what, what is she doing what, or, what he, or what is he doing? He's managing that money for the same home that both of you are a part of. But a lot of us, you see, like I said, once the value is not understood, mm. then there's a lot of abuse. It's not appreciated. It's not appreciated because the man goes to work or goes to his business, he brings in the money naturally. The woman, she, maybe she's at home, maybe she's, she's a full-time homemaker, or maybe she does go to work, she's supporting. She comes home and she's managing the home. So if there's a role reversal, because the man already understands what his wife or what his girlfriend, or what his partner, partner. is doing, mm. when he now has to do it, He's going to do it. He ought to do it. Now, let me not say he's going to. Yeah. He ought to do it gladly because he knows it's also still value he's adding to the home. Yes. And if she now finds herself in the position where she's the one having to bring in the money for that period of time, or even maybe throughout, you have some relationships that yeah. the women are the permanent providers, prov money, financial, financial providers, financial. Mm. and the men purposely stay at home because, again, they may even be better wired to do to do the other role yes. so it's all boils down to understanding mm. and patience and a, res a healthy respect mm. for the role the other person is bringing into the relationship great you now, know last week we talked about external um, influence external because this is another thing that might also affect mm -hmm. yes. you know the yes. understanding and the peace that reigns yeah. yes. when this role is reversed and that is why my that. advice to couples will be your each home is unique to the owners of that home yeah even though you are twins mm. or you are triplets that you are born together mm. You get married, your homes are and unique to you. To you. Mm. you do not listen to pressure or advice from outside, mm. out, outside of what both of you have agreed. agreed on, which is why I said even before you get married, both of you should come, both of you should be coming from, a place, from the places of understanding of what your mm. roles are and what you're bringing to the table. Mm. And that is where, but unfortunately, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of a lot of pressure these days because people do not understand and, and then at times the pressure comes from people who are actually jealous of the fact that your home is doing yes. very well so you have friends telling you ah if it, were, if it was me oh, i won't take that but meanwhile they really you are taking <laughs> 10 times what you have so you now go home. ahead and then you, you 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 destroy a good thing that you had because you were listening to mm. now to, i to i am i'm, I'm a little bit concerned about um, the now generation yeah you know our, our children yes because uh, Yes, they ask a lot of questions. Oh, is it just, you know, it and uh, are you sure that we're hitting home with this message? How much of this message, mm. this all-important analysis that he just gave us, how much of it does the younger generation understand? Because they see us as old-fashioned and they're like, Mommy, why, why now? Why no. <laughs> okay, so I know that this isn't a faith-based program, but it is at this point that the faith of the parents and the ability to transmit the faith into their children comes into a long way. Whether you're Christian or you're Muslim, Muslim. the fact is that the holy books also are sacrosanct about the roles that the genders play. 
So when you are able to bring up this younger generation in the fear of the Lord or in the fear of whatever it is that you, you believe mm -hmm. in, for me, I'm a Christian, I'm a firm believer, your ability to, to lead your children, to understand that these roles are not just innate, but they are God-given, helps. So you find out that you, if, if you go to homes where there is a, a strong religious belief, you find out that this um, role still exists even in their younger, the younger ones. ones. So, well, yeah. I am also a firm believer. I'm a Christian. But I do know, and I'm not um, trying to undermine or pull down no. any okay. um, religion here now, but we do know that in our, our environment, um, children of, you know, practicing pastors and deaconesses who, you know, who weekly are, on, every Sunday are on the pulpit, their children's marriages also crash based on the misunderstanding of what the roles they should be playing are. Yeah. So finally, is it more important to understand each person's strengths and weaknesses and then work with that for a more fulfilling relationship? You know, the strengths and, and the, the weaknesses. weaknesses. Because yes. sometimes religion won't fail you, but would you say the issue of submission from the woman to the man, it's an old age, age old. challenge. Mm -hmm. Yes. In homes. Yes, it is. Okay, so um, when you say understanding the weaknesses and the strengths, understanding comes from a knowledge. So a knowledge gives knowledge and understanding was, is what will give you the wisdom to execute whatever decision it is you want to take. So first of all, like I said, and you know, we've discussed, does the woman understand who the man is? Mm -hmm. And does she understand that he also has his weak points? Because we all have our weak points. Yes. Let's forget about what you see on social media. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you follow some people's Facebook accounts, every day is Christmas. True. It's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that. So what, how true are you to yourself? That's good. How true are you to yourself? And then when you acknowledge that you yourself are a being with flaws and with weaknesses, then it should make you humble and make you ready, more ready to accept the fact that my spouse or mm. my partner mm. also has his or her own flaws and her own weaknesses. Yes. Then the question is, how do we resolve these issues together? Not how do I. Okay. Because a relationship is not I anymore. The minute exactly. you commit and say, I want to be in a relationship with you, then it becomes we. It becomes we. So those strengths and those weaknesses, you know, they, they're supposed to be complementing each other anyway. So how do I take your weakness? Okay, let me give an example to make it clearer. You might be a woman, which a lot of women supposedly are. We are spendthrifts. We mm. like to buy things, supposedly. Okay. And you have a man who is naturally... Um, careful. Careful. Mm. And maybe he's also the one bringing in all the money because he's working. And maybe she is full-time at home looking after the children. And for him, he, he perceives her spending as a weakness, something he doesn't like, something he doesn't, you know, he's sick and tired, he's always spending the money, blah, blah, blah. Maybe because she's the one making it. And because he's the one making it. Okay. And she now feels, what is it, how much money am I spending? I'm at home every day, I'm looking after the children, I'm this, this, Can I not just, can't I just buy something to, 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 to relieve myself or to take the stress off how I feel? What should both of them do? Both of them in... A moment of sanity, sit mm, down sit together, together and say, okay, look, you know, the man calls and says, look, sweetheart, I'm making X, Y, Z. We're spending X, Y, Z on, on things in the house. Okay, I agree that you need to once in a while spend, but rather than spend 100000 every week, can we do fifty? Mm. Yeah. So there's room for negotiation. There's room for a give and take. And he's doing that because he already understands that sitting at home, can also be frustrating for her. 
So he knows that he has maybe once he it. understands that. Mm -hmm. Exactly, which yeah. is why it comes back to understand understanding the value of the role your spouse is playing, playing in that relationship. Yes. And not and allowing it. external influences exactly. or whatever yes. to come in. Because come in. by the time you're looking over the fence to the other household, thinking yeah. the grass is thinking, greener. Thinking the grass, grass is greener. <laughs> not knowing that the guy is watering He's his watering. grass. <laughs> You know, when it's um, about Mother's Day, really, every year, um, on the social media, so much, you know, Hype. illustrations come and you find some men backing the babies or feeding the babies and it's so messy and they're unable. And at the end of the day, they're like, wow. So mothering and caring and taking care of the home front, it's more, much more than a full time Damn job, job yes. you know like the man going out there and working um seven to five p.m and is, bringing the money is also it's also very very hectic for the man as well yes um we can't talk about role reversal and peace in the home relationship between the man and the woman without talking about it, that just occurred to me we talked about money yes. um could the aspect of having a joint account really help you know can it help because you're <laughs> okay so um <laughs> Again, I don't know. Again, having a joint account works beautifully for some, for some, and it doesn't work for others. Mm -hmm. What makes it work? The understanding of what that account is for. Mm. Um, so you have homes where there's a joint account. <clears throat> One person is funding it more than the other, mm. but they both understand what that account is for. Mm. And you have some homes that say, "No, I can't do this," and because they appreciate. Each other, they know that doing this together will only give us more problems. So okay. let's not do it. And oh. they are happy. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, Thank so much you. for sparing us some time. Thank you. And to help us unpack the true meaning of love and um, the roles, gender roles. the gender yes. roles that yes. um, are in this. Uh, we do hope that um, next time when we have need for you, you will be here. I will. I enjoyed myself. Yes, we Thank you happy very Valentine's. much for having me. Same we hope to you're you. ready for tomorrow. Well. Something special for the family and for God. Quick one. Uh, <laughs> secret, <there you> secret. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we already started celebrating. We started since yesterday because okay. the children's school started yesterday. So it's oh, the whole weekend so of. So, so it's honeymoon again. It's the whole weekend of Valentine's. Oh. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Thank I you. We wish you all the best thank, thank you, you. Thank okay and then um, next like you know pharaoh is just around the corner our lifestyle and wellness companion and in a moment we will be talking love language with her guest dr and mrs alaba and tinuke faoli will be sharing the next moment with pharaoh please don't go away